In 1925, a German chemist named Fritz Haber stood in his laboratory, trembling. He'd just won the Nobel Prize, humanity's highest honor, for creating synthetic fertilizer that fed millions. But his hands were shaking, because he knew the truth. His invention had become a weapon. Nitrates meant for crops could manufacture explosives. During World War I, his ammonia synthesis had enabled Germany to produce endless ammunition, prolonging the carnage. Over a million soldiers died because of his discovery. Haber had believed science transcended politics, that his work would unite humanity through abundance. Instead, it had become an instrument of mass death. He'd even led Germany's chemical weapons program, developing poisonous gases that choked soldiers in trenches. Later, when Hitler rose to power, Haber, a Jewish scientist, was driven from his own country. He fled, broken and exiled. Before his death, Haber wrote a final letter expressing profound regret. His greatest achievement had become his deepest shame. The Nobel Prize hung on his wall like an accusation. Science, he learned too late, was never neutral. Intentions meant nothing. Only consequences remained.